Good evening, students. Today we will study solubility product and its application. See, solubility means maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in a particular amount of solvent. Clear? So, for example, we have NaCl. If we dissolve NaCl solid in water, what would happen? It turns into and a plus CL and CL minus. negative clear so it is like and a plus aqueous plus CL negative aqueous because and a CL when dissolved in water it turns into ions and a plus ion and CL negative now if we go on adding and a CL so what happens after some time, NaCl will stop dissolving. Uh, will stop dissolving. It cannot dissolve. Clear? So that means that is the saturation point. So now at saturation point, what would happen? If we add more NaCl, it gets dissolved. And equivalent amount of Na plus and Cl negative ion from the solution, it will combine. I combine to form NaCl solid. So now this forward term it become equilibrium. equilibrium. Now NaCl solid is in equilibrium with Na plus aqueous and Cl negative aqueous. Clear? Yes, sir. Now at that time that is called saturation point. Yes. So at saturation point. Product of the concentration of ions is called solubility product. In this case, number of mole is 1 and 1, so its power is 1. one. Otherwise, if um, take an example of uh, CaCl2. Now, if we have CaCl2, then at saturation point, calcium 2 plus aqueous and 2 Cl negative aqueous. They are in equilibrium with CaCl2 solid. solid. So, now what is Ksp? Concentration of Calcium 2 plus ions hmm. into concentration of Cl negative ion to the power 2 raised to power 2. Hmm. Clear? So it is defined as product of the concentration of the ions of an electrolyte raised to the power their hmm. coefficients hmm. in the balanced equation. Hmm. Clear? Yes. And that is called solubility. Product. product and this solubility product is constant at constant temperature okay. clear now if before equilibrium if we take it uh, the product of ions and a plus ion and cl negative ion except at equilibrium mm -hmm. so that is called ionic product okay. and at saturation point that ionic product becomes equal to saturation solubility, solubility product. product got it mm. ionic product at any time clear mm. and at saturation point or we can say saturated solution mm. the product of the concentration of ions is called solubility, solubility. product clear yes, in this way we can predict that in a particular reaction when the precipitates are formed. Clear? So, first application of solubility product is to predict the formation of precipitates.
केस वन इफ आइनिक प्रोडक्ट वट इज आइनिक प्रोडक्ट अगे सेम प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ द आयंस एट एनी पॉइंट पॉइंट क्लियर इफ आइनिक प्रोडक्ट इज लेस देन सॉलिबिलिटी प्रोडक्ट देन नो प्रेसिपिटेट इज फॉर्म केस टू इफ आइनिक प्रोडक्ट इज ग्रेटर देन सॉलिबिलिटी प्रोडक्ट देन देन प्रेसिपिटेशन टेक्स प्लेस देन प्रेसिपिटेट It is formed. Clear? Now, is it first application? Second application is we can predict the solubility of a sparingly soluble salt. Sparingly means partially soluble salt. So, second application is to predict. solubility of partially soluble salt take an example for example if we have al2 so4 thrice solid al2 so4 thrice when we dissolve it in water at saturation point it is in equilibrium with its ions mm -hmm. al3 plus ion mm -hmm. how many al3 plus ion 2 2 and so4 two negative ions how many 3 3 good Let us take an example. The solubility is S. Capital S is solubility of this salt, this electrolyte. Clear? So if S is solubility of this particular electrolyte, then how many aluminium three plus ions are there? Two. Two times S. Clear? Because S mole per liter of Al two S four thrice is there. So Al three plus ions are two times of S, mm. and sulfate ions three. 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 three times of S, right? Mm. Now, what is Ksp? As per our previous discussion, mm. there is Al three plus ion mm. concentration of Al three plus ion mm. raised to power two. Two, two. good, and uh, SO four two negative ion raised to power three. three. And Al three plus ions are two s. Two s. Two s. So just write two s raised to power two. 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 And sulfate ion three s. Three s. Raised to power three. 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 So what is the value now? Twenty seven into four s. Twenty seven into four s. That means it is four s raised to power two into Twenty seven S two. Twenty seven S is what? Three. Three. So twenty seven into four. Twenty seven into four. One zero eight. So it is one zero eight into S raised to power. Powers are added up. Five. It is S raised to power five. One zero eight into S raised to power five. So in this way, S is equal to ESP 
raised to power 1 by 5. That means if we know solubility product of the salt of the electrolyte, we can calculate solubility of the electrolyte. Clear? So it is another application of the solubility product. Third application is Salting out of soap. What are soaps? It is what is what is soap? Sodium or potassium salts of higher fatty acids, right? And you know soaps are. Parch means uh, least soluble. Clear? So, these are sodium or potassium salts of higher fatty acids. R is an alkyl group, large chain of carbon atoms. Okay. So, it is in equilibrium with RCO negative and Na plus. Right? Now, these ions are in equilibrium with RCONA hmm. to make salt again or to reverse this reaction we can use another effect that is called common ion effect okay. so what is common ion effect if we add an ion common to the soul like NaCl hmm. if we add NaCl clear to small amount in water, you know, NaCl is completely soluble in water. Mm. We are not talking about we make saturated solution of NaCl. Mm. We are just making, we are just adding a small amount of NaCl. Okay. As we add NaCl, what would we get? Na plus Cl negative. So Cl negative ion and Na plus ion added in the solution. So now this Na plus. These are common ions. Hmm. Clear? Yes, so, what is ionic product of this salt, this soap? Hmm. This is ionic product is equal to concentration of RC. This carbonate ion hmm. and concentration of Na plus. Na plus. Hmm. Clear? Hmm. So, now as we add NaCl. We are increasing Na plus ion mm. and when Na plus ion is increased, mm. what would happen? Ionic this ionic product, product increases mm. and ionic product, when this ionic product is greater than solubility product, mm. what happens? Precipitation. Very good. Precipitation takes place. Mm. So precipitate is formed mm. and precipitate means this formation of this soap. Mm. So that is called salting out of so, precipitate is formed. So, in this way, we can prepare soap. Clear? And last application is, last application is purification of NaCl. Clear? You know NaCl again you know NaCl is soluble in water. Now we prepare saturated solution of NaCl. First we dissolve NaCl in water. Clear? So we get Na plus ion, Cl negative ion along with other impurities and insoluble impurities. So first we filter out insoluble impurities. Now we left with soluble impurities as well as saturated solution of NaCl because NaCl is in maximum amount. So saturation of saturated solution of NaCl is formed. Only saturated solution of NaCl is formed. Now we pass HCl through it. 
and you know when HCl is passed through water, HCl is a strong acid in water. So HCl gives H plus ions and Cl negative ions. Again, there is a common ion effect. This is common ion. Actually, here we apply Lichtenstein's principle. According to Lichtenstein's principle, what would happen if we increase one of the product? Equilibrium shifts backward. Backward. Clear? And that is common ion effect. Clear? In this way, we can purify NaCl. So pure NaCl is obtained. This is again an application of solubility product. Other applications are in uh, salt analysis that we will discuss later on. Okay, thank you. Any doubt? Yes, sir. Hmm? Sir, can we use Lee-Chatelier's principle in our uh, previous example? Yes, why not? Because in that case, I forgot to say, otherwise, you know, this is first equilibrium. That was the case. Then we add NaCl in it. It becomes Cl negative aqueous and and a plus aqueous. There is common ion effect. Same case. Clear? Now, as it is a common case and one of the product is increased. So, according to Lichtenstein's principle, when one of the product is increased, equilibrium shifts backward. So, same principle applied in both the cases. Okay? Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, thank you.